Assalamu alaikum, welcome and karibuni to our room of Zanzibar's kitchen. So today I'm going to share with you how I make this very simple, highly concentrated tomato paste. So I'm using about 2 kilos of these sized tomatoes. You can use any size tomatoes that you have, any type, any quantity that you have. Alright, so I happen to have just 2 kilos, but I would uh, advise you to do maybe 10 to 15 kilos because it's time consuming and you want to do a lot at one time all right so after washing the tomatoes i'm going to place them in this uh, wide pan because i'm going to soak this in hot water and i wanted them to be in one layer the reason why i'm soaking them in hot water because i want to remove the skin uh, it's not necessary to remove the skin but i prefer to remove the skin because i find it uh, troublesome to blend and then uh, strain all right so after five minutes the skin is already softened and we're just gonna strain the liquid and then i'm just gonna make a small insertion over here and we're just gonna peel the skin off and also i like to de-seed the tomatoes as well which is also not necessary but i would advise you if you decide to cook with the skin and the seeds make sure that you have a very good blender that can help you make the paste very smooth okay otherwise it's going to be very difficult to strain that's why i prefer to uh, de-seed my tomatoes okay and you can also blend first and then cook but i prefer to cook blend and then cook again all right Okay, so we're just going to remove all the seeds. Just like that. It's very, very simple. And then... If you have a tall pot, that's much better. So now I'm just gonna, I've got some extra juice over there that I'm gonna add it to the tomatoes. We're not going to add any water to this. We're not going to add any vinegar. We're just gonna cook the tomatoes on their own, as you can see, all right? So once that's done, just gonna put it on the heat and it's gonna cook on medium, all right? Just medium heat and um, mine for about uh, 30 minutes. As you can see, almost 25% of the liquid has gone. Now I like to add garlic. Now garlic is totally optional. You do not have to add it. You do not have to use it, but I prefer because it gives my tomato paste some good uh, flavor. All right. Now at this point, so I cooked it for almost 40 minutes to get to this point. I'm just going to blend it. And you can put it in a big blender, but since I didn't have too much, I just used the hand blender like this. All right. But if you have used the skin, then you may need to put it in a bigger blender or a food processor. Okay. Then after this, we're just going to strain. I'm just going to strain the juice. The tomato sauce. Actually, this point, it's tomato sauce. And you can use this as a tomato sauce, too, if you want. And um, as you can see, I don't have much residue. <coughs> All right. So it's not much, it's just this little bit. It's easy when you remove the seeds and the skin. Okay, now I'm just going to put it back to the same pot and continue cooking. Now, if you want, you can blend it in the beginning and then cook it all the way one time. But I prefer to cook and then blend and then continue cooking. All right, so... Now we are back and you're gonna keep stirring every 10 minutes 
and just cook it till you get to the thickness that you want so this should take at least like two and a half hours to three hours in total all right so as you can see now you want to use a tall pot because this will, will splatter and mess up your kitchen so uh, as it begins to boil and if it's splattering then you what you need to do is reduce the heat or if you need to cover it make sure you have a little side open so that the steam will escape okay otherwise you're gonna get a lot of moisture so now I've got to this thickness you can see I'm still you need to stir this every 15 to 10 20 minutes okay and I like to add a little bit of olive oil which is also totally optional yes so you can see the sauce has thickened and it has reduced a lot it's just this much that is left that's why I say if you're doing this uh, please make sure you have like 10 to 15 kilos because it's time consuming and uh, I just happen to have very little tomatoes and uh, I had scheduled to do a video on this day so I had to do it so I just added a little bit of olive oil like I mentioned it's totally optional but it does help in the shelf life giving an extra shelf life to the tomato paste okay so we're just gonna continue just gonna cook it down until you have a nice paste like this and then you want to let it cool before you put it in your jar okay right so now we are ready and you see with my two kilo kilos tomatoes I managed to get one small bottle like that but uh, it's highly concentrated I may use just maybe a tablespoon or so for my curry or whatever I'm using so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your support and uh, I look forward to seeing you again in the near future and um, i wish you a wonderful day thank you bye bye or oh, please put this in the refrigerator